Hi everyone, I'm Trinity and this is Caden. We are your sports captains for 2020. Today's exam will be integrated between the conversation between Caden and I. Caden, your main sport is athletics and widely individual sport and mine is football. What do you enjoy most about athletics? I like setting myself goals and trying to achieve them. I love the feeling of being able to run and challenge myself and keep testing myself out. I um, also love the social side of the sport as well. It's really important for me because even though it is a largely individual sport, you still have all your uh, people from your club and also who you run with at school and your competitors. And you get all the camaraderie from that. That's what I really enjoy. Uh, what about you, Trinity? What do you enjoy? I just love playing. The feeling of succeeding and being involved as a group is just something that I really enjoy. Yeah. Um, so we can't win every time you know, we play and you play and every time I run I can't get a PB. So how do you deal like with losing? Oh, obviously disappointed. But it also makes me question like why? Was it like in preparation? Was it a negative mindset going into the game? Did I give it my best? Could I have tried harder? Um, did I encourage my teammates as much as I could? Like during the game? Yeah, but also in like in the lead up at training and I know that we won't succeed unless everyone feels like they have confident in going into the game. Uh, when I don't reach my goals, I go through the same questioning process. Uh, what, did I do, do, what did I do well, but what did I do that could be better? Like, and I go through that idea of looking at myself, looking at what my competitors' advice they can give me, what my coach says, what my family says, and all together, keep thinking about what's the next step and how I can improve. Yeah, that, that's all part of sport. You take the risk, you put yourself on the line, and you know, you have prepared properly and you've done your best. That's all you, that's all you can expect. The result is what it is. Yeah. You can often um, learn from the losses more than you do from the victories. Other times you feel like you're doing everything right and you're prepared properly, but you just can't perform at your best. And... Yeah, injuries are often outside your control. It's a big part of the risk we take. We can't expect sport or life to be perfect. I believe that it was an American president, Theodore Roosevelt, in the early 1900s, so something like this. A soft, easy life is not worth living. It impairs the fibre of brain and heart and muscles. We must, be, we must dare to be great, and we must realise the greatness in fruit of toil and sacrifice and high courage. For us is the life of action, of strenuous performance of duty. Let us live in the harness, striving mightily, let us rather run the risk of wearing out than rusting out. That's similar to what St. Ignatius encouraged his companions to do. He wanted them to dream big and not be afraid of failure. Setbacks are all part of the process of anything worthwhile. It's not the setbacks that usually count, but it's what people do about it that's important. Let's begin the examine. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What opportunities are you grateful for in your life? You may like to think of a sport you are interested in or enjoy playing, or it could be something else. Give thanks to God for something you are involved in that brings you joy. The second part of the exam is where we ask for help to be more open to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We desire to pray the exam in a spirit of honesty openness and to be aware that God loves us and wants us to make good choices. Recall a time you played some form of sport or did an activity that was meaningful for you. Picture the scene in your mind. Replay parts of this using your imagination. Were you part of a team? If so, how did the team go? What was your contribution? If the activity was not a team one, what made it meaningful for you? When you think about this, how do you feel? What is the source of those feelings? Are you satisfied with what you contributed to the team? The support you gave to your teammates? The part you played in the game plan? and the effort that you made. Did you do your best or did you give less than your best? What do you think God was telling you through this experience?
Is there anything you are sorry for? Ask God for forgiveness. Is there anything that you need to work on when approaching your sport or activity? What steps can you take to be at your best and make a contribution to your team? Pray to God for the judgement and courage to always prepare properly and make the most of your opportunities. Commit to a positive action that you can take to improve. Before we finish up today, Caden and I will leave you with a thought. Prayer is not just about words and verses. It's also about being present and giving off your best. St. Ignatius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks everyone. Hope you all have a great week ahead.